class, welcome back to my YouTube channel and for today, we are going to discuss the lesson 12 which is about finding the domain and range of the inverse function. So, from our previous topics, we've discussed the domain and the range. So, domain is the set of x values and the range is the set of the y values. So, how can we find the domain and the range of our inverse function? So, here, to determine the domain and the range of the inverse function, first, we need to find the domain of the given function since it's also the range of its inverse. So, first, you need to evaluate and substitute if there are values that corresponds to be your domain. Next step, you need to determine the inverse of the original function. You need to solve the inverse of the function by interchanging, um, writing it in a form first in a y is equals to f of x form, and then interchanging x and y variables then solve for y that is your that will be your the y will be your inverse function and you need to get now the domain of that inverse function so to further understand let us have examples so now let us have examples in Finding the domain and range of the inverse function. So let's have this example number one. Find the domain and range of the inverse function of this function of x equals to 5x minus 3. So this is the first function that we have in our previous lesson number 10. So what is the first step in finding the domain and the range? of the inverse function of course we have this given function we can get the domain of this function and that is also equals to the range of its inverse function so if we get the domain that means we can get the range of the inverse function so what is the domain of our function f of x equals to 5x minus 3 so this is this has a domain or we can denote it by d so let's just first write it in cool so the domain of this function is equals is your x such that your x is an element of real numbers so why so meaning in every values of your in every value real value of your x you can have a value of your y let's just say we have 0 5 times 0 minus 3 that is negative 3 so we have a range negative 3 so when we have positive number positive real number we have 5 times 1 Let's say 1 minus 3, so we have 5 minus 3 that is equals to 2. So we have range which is equals to 2. Another, when we have negative number, we have 5 times negative 1, let's say, minus 3. So we have negative 5 minus 3 that is equal to negative 8. So meaning, in every values in your real number, you will have a value for your range. So this is the domain of our function that means this is also the range of the inverse function so this is for the inverse function of x so that is your y such that your y is an element of real numbers so next for the next step we can get the domain of range by first getting the inverse of this given function. So how? So we have f of x again minus equals to 5x minus 3. So 
First, we need to change f of x to y. So we have y is equals to 5x minus 3. So second step to that, you need to interchange your values, variable rather, this y becomes x equals to 5, this x becomes y minus 3. And last, let's just solve this value of y to get the inverse function. So we have x plus 3, just transposing this negative 3 to the other side, equals to 5y. So we have, um, let's divide both sides to 5. Now we will have inverse function y is equals to x plus 3 or over 5. So we have um, so we have f of negative 1 x equals to x plus 3 or over 5. So what is the domain of this um, inverse function? So the domain will be x such that is x also an element of a real number. How do we notice that? Because anything that you substitute with x will inculcate to a certain value of your f of x or f inverse of x. So let's say 0. So we have 0 plus 3, that is 3, divided by 5, that is 3 over 5, which is your first range. So when we substitute a value for your x, which is positive, positive 1 plus 3, that is positive 4, divided by 5, we have 4 over 5, that is also a real number. And when we substitute a value of negative, we have negative 1 here. Let's say negative 1, for example, plus 3, that is positive 2, divided by 5, is also, that will be equals to your f of x, which is 2 over 5, is also a real number. So, for the final answer, the inverse function of x has a domain wherein your x is an element of real number. And your range, which is the domain of the function, this one, we have y which is also an element of real numbers. So this is your answer. So for our second example, let's have this problem. Determine the domain and range of the inverse of function of x equals to 2x plus 3 all over 2x minus 4. So first, we need to get the domain of this function, this given rational function, because that is also the range of its inverse function. So the domain of this rational function, we have um, x such that x is an element of real numbers except to what? Except to its, restric its restrictions restriction which is positive 4. Why? Except to positive 4. Why? Because when we substitute positive 4 to this function, we'll have 2 times 4, that is 8, plus 3, so that is 11. So I'll just write it. So when we substitute positive 4 to the function, we'll have 2 times 4, plus 3 all over 2, 4 minus 4. So your f of, f of 4, we have 8 plus 3, which is 11 over 0. 
So, this function is undefined or does not exist. So, meaning, positive 4 is not a domain of our function. Next step, we need to get the um, domain of the inverse function because this is the range of our inverse function. So, second step, let's first get the inverse function of this given rational function. So, we have, uh, I'll just rewrite it, 2x plus 3 all over x minus 4. So, given that, we need to just substitute f of x to be your y. So, y is equals to 2x plus 3 all over 2x minus 4. So, how can we solve for the inverse? Let's just, for the second step, we need to interchange the values of the variable x and y. So, we have what x here. We have 2y plus 3 over y minus 4. So we can multiply both sides by the LCD which is y minus 4 evident to our equation. So we have here, we can cancel these both sides. So x times y, we have xy. Negative 4 times x, that is minus 4x equals 2. 2y plus 3. So let's combine both terms, uh, those terms with similar similarities. So let's have this 2y to be transposed to this side, then this 4x to this side. So we have xy minus plus uh, minus 2y rather equals to 4x plus. So, let's just get the value of your y by factoring the value of var variable. So, we have y. What is it? What will be left in this term? That is x. So, bring out this y. We'll have negative 2. Then, equals to 4x plus 3. So, to solve for the value of y, let's just divide both sides. So, this value, which is x minus 2, to get the value of our y. So, y is 4x plus 3 all over x minus 2. So this is also the inverse function of this given rational function. So how can we get the domain of this? So as we can see, its domain is x such that x it's an element of real numbers except to what? What is the restriction in this rational inverse function? We have except to positive 2. Why? Because when we do substitute positive 2 to this given, we'll have 2 minus 2 here in the denominator which will result to 0. And when you have a 0 denominator, that means that is undefined or that does exist. So for the final answer, we have the domain of our inverse function of x. So we have x such that x is an element of real numbers except Two positive two. While, or we can write and and x is not equal to two. While its range which is the domain of our function, this one. So we have y, wherein y is an element of real numbers, and y is not equal to 4. So this is the domain and range of our, of the inverse function of this given function, f of x equals to 2x plus 3 all over x minus 4.
And for the last example, we have find the domain and range of the inverse of the function of x equals to 2x plus 7, where your x is greater than or equal to negative 2 and less than or equal to positive 5. So we have this given f of x. So what is the domain of this given function? So the domain of the function, we have domain, which is your x is in between negative 2 and positive 5. So this is our domain for the function of f of x. That is also the range for our f of y. So that it will be your y is great, less than or equal to negative 2 then Greater than, greater than or equal to negative 2 rather and less than or equal to positive 5. So now for the domain, uh, for the range. So for the range of the function, we can um, get the range by simply evaluating the function with a given values of the range for the domain. So, for the range, you can substitute negative 2 as your x. So, let's have x equal to negative 2. What will be the function? f negative 2 will be equals to 2 times negative 2 plus 7. So, that is equivalent to times negative 2 that is negative 4 plus 7 that is positive 3. How about x equals to positive 5? So we will have f of 5 equals to 2 times 5 plus 7 that is 2 times 5 that is 10 plus 7 that is 17. Therefore, our range for the function we have 3 Less the uh, your y will be greater than or equal to 3 and less than or equal to 17. Therefore, it is also the domain of your inverse function. So we have positive 3, rather, this is x, then greater than or equal to um, 17. So again, for the inverse function of x, our domain is equivalent to greater than or equal to 3 and less than or equal to 17, while the range is we have y less than or equal to negative 2 and greater than or equal to positive. So this is the answer for the domain and range of the inverse of the function f of x equals to 2x plus 7. So that's it for finding the domain and range of the inverse functions.